Now you have a very good understanding of the signs, signals, and markings. In this video, we are going to drive around approximately five or seven minutes and look at the most common signs, signals, and road markings and see how we can bring all the information together. So let's get started. We are going to exit from this parking lot. First, we see this sign, one-way street sign. Now, arrow is pointing to the right-hand side. So that means all the traffic is going to the right-hand side. On the road, we see a white line indicating it's a one-direction traffic. And it's a broken white line that indicates lane change is permitted. Now we are approaching to an intersection and we see a stop line here. So the first white line is the stop line and the other two lines are crosswalk lines. Stop line is thicker than the crosswalk lines. On the right hand side we see a sign showing no parking. Now we see a speed limit sign on the right hand side, maximum 60 kilometers. We have a broken white line indicating lane change is permitted. And then in the center of the road, we have a solid yellow line. Yellow line indicates it's a two-way traffic. And a solid yellow line means lane change is not permitted. Now on the right-hand side, we see a black sign with a white arrow inside. This sign indicates the right lane must turn right. We can also see white marking on the road, white arrow indicating the right lane is only for right turns. When you get closer to the intersection, the white line from, it will change from a broken white line before we had a broken white line. Broken line means lane change is permitted, but when you get closer to the intersection, the line changes from a broken white to a solid white. Solid line means lane change is not permitted. We are approaching to a red light and then we come to a complete stop before the stop line. First line here is the stop line, then we have a crosswalk. Now we are waiting for the light to turn green. We also see another sign on the light pole. And this sign indicates no right on a no right turn on a red light. Now we are approaching to another intersection. And on the light pole, we see a sign showing no right turn. So on this side, we have a sign showing no right turn. Same thing on this light pole here, we have another sign showing no right turn. On this uh, side here, on this traffic light, we have a sign showing you cannot go straight. We have a speed limit sign on the right hand side showing maximum 60 kilometers. Now we see some construction signs on the right hand side. The first sign shows uh, construction ahead. Then we have um, this diamond shape construction sign. This sign indicates a right lane is going to end. And now we see the right lane is ending. We have another sign showing you must change lane to the left. Right lane is not available. So this arrow is pointing to the left. So you have to change lane to the left. On the next intersection, we will be turning right. Right now we have a red light, so we come to a complete stop before the stop line. Now on this intersection, we don't see any prohibited sign. So that means we can turn right on a red light if it's safe to do so. After coming to a complete stop, first you look for um, that sign, make sure you don't see a prohibited sign. And then you can look for uh, other vehicles and pedestrians. If it's clear, then you can turn right on a red light. On the right hand side, we also have uh, signs um, on this pedestrian signal here, flashing hand, and then we have a timer below that. On the right hand side, now we see another sign showing school zone maximum 40 kilometers when the lights are flashing, when the yellow lights are flashing. Right now the yellow lights are flashing, that means uh, speed limit here is uh, maximum 40 kilometers. 
on this intersection we are going to turn left uh, we can see a white um, arrow here indicating this lane is only for left turns we cannot go straight from this lane and the light is green so that means we go in the intersection and yield the right of way to oncoming traffic and pedestrians on the crosswalk if you see a bigger opening between the traffic that time you can go as long as there are no pedestrians or cyclists on the crosswalk on this street on the right hand side we have a bicycle lane and before the intersection you will notice right now we have a solid white line but before the intersection you will notice the line changes from solid into a broken white that means if you're turning right you must go closer to the curb before you change lane before you enter in the bicycle lane you have to put the right signal on and you have to shoulder check to make sure there are no cyclists in the bicycle lane in this example we have a stop sign and it shows all way so that means all traffic has a stop sign now we have another example on the right hand side we have a bicycle lane and uh, we also have another sign showing the bicycle lane ends and you can see the solid white line ends over here so that's um, that's where the bicycle lane ends now on the right hand side we see another sign indicating yield is coming up and there's also another sign showing no parking and now we have a roundabout coming up so first we see this sign here showing you must yield the right of way uh, to pedestrians on the crosswalk and then we have on uh, this yield sign showing uh, you must yield the right of way to traffic approaching from the left hand side so in this example we do have this vehicle coming from the left hand side so that means we have to uh, wait for uh, this car and um, let them go first before we enter in the roundabout 